Hey guys, welcome to another video and recently we released a review of MIUI 12.5.3 for the POCO X3 Pro and here we have it. MIUI 12.5.1 for the K20 Pro in India is available and if you're regular to this channel you really know what I'm going to say right because I was really really pissed with the 12.0.6 update but don't worry these guys have maybe woke up or you know they got up or something happened and they've, they've done something better they've not done everything right but they're moving in the right direction so by the time we have you know, we will have MIUI 13 but we won't have Android 12. So that's a discussion for another day. Let's review or let's do a quick first look at MIUI 12.5.1 on the Indian Redmi K20 Pro. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, please subscribe. 88% of our views are coming from people who have not subscribed. We are bringing you content which is really, really useful to you. We are trying our best so that you get the maximum out of your phone and subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon doesn't cost you anything, guys. So it's a request. Please subscribe. It motivates us and like the video it really really helps increase the quality of our content at the same time if you want to have fun if you want to get help we have a telegram channel and a telegram chat group the link for the same is mentioned in the description last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash. let's get going Alright, so MIUI 12.5.1. Every time I say this, people start expecting, okay, I will get, okay, I'm talking about K20 Pro users, I will get an Android version bump, I will get all of these 12.5 features, so some of it is true and some of it is not, let's not worry about that, let's go to settings over here, let's go to about phone and let's go to all specifications, right, this is a K20 Pro Android version, Android 11, as you can see over here, one, two and three there you go the cat game is here right and the security patch of course is the june security patch the version is miui 12.5.1 stable so i think this is released for mi pilot testers so if you've still not received it wait for a few days if xiaomi thinks they don't really have a lot of problems they will go ahead and release to a wider audience as well right now i did not give you a hint what exactly this update is good about if you remember a few days back we made a video in which i showed you how to restore your wide one l1 now guess what if you are on a locked bootloader or an unlocked bootloader you did something wrong wrong which messed up your wide one l1 and you've been downgraded to l3 the moment you flash this particular update all you need to do is you need to go to settings right and then you need to go to security that is passwords and security you need to go to fingerprint unlock enter your pattern pin whatever it is and then go to fingerprint payments you will have an option called wide one l1 click here and click on certificate It'll, you need to have an internet connection and it says updated successfully right certificate number one now my phone is already widewind l1 certified i've never lost it despite flashing so many roms so if you are someone who's had a problem with widewind l1 bam that is the fix for you so initially we'll talk about the good things and later we'll talk about the not so good things with this particular mii 12.5.1 update finally we still have poco launcher I have been mad at Xiaomi for doing this so late, right? So we still have Poco Launcher. That is not the point. But what we do get is Android 10 gestures. Let me actually go ahead and uh, launch a few applications over here, right? Because I didn't have any apps in memory. As you can see over here, right? It's pretty smooth. It's pretty subtle. And uh, it is highly recommended that if you're updating to this particular update, even if you get an OTA update, back up all your information and do a clean factory reset because this is an Android version upgrade and from MIUI 12 to MIUI 12.5, this is a major upgrade as well. Now I will tell you this, that the UI is more responsive and more smooth, right? If you look at the control center, you have the new control center wherein the brightness bar doesn't go all the way at the bottom. If you're adjusting the brightness, the whole UI becomes invisible. So that's pretty neat. You still don't have the mobile data usage over here, but if you swipe to the left, you can get access to your notifications and if you sort of long press you can get further information on the notification and to enable or disable certain features of the notifications and stuff like that so the control center is doing pretty pretty decent as far as the change log is concerned now to the left you have app vault 
Yeah, that's where my excitement dies. To be very honest, I am a Google Feed person. Trust me, the first thing that I do in the morning is I go to Google Feed, one of the three or four devices that I have, and I check the news. That is how I get my daily dose of updates in tech and politics and whatever is happening in this world. So to me, Google Feed is much more important. So I have to now manually press over here and then it opens and stuff, but that's okay. If you're giving it to some devices in Europe, please give it to us, you know, don't make people unlock their bootloader just for a simple feature like the one which you have in your global devices. Now moving on, if you press and hold over here or if you go to settings, you go to more settings and you go to about the Poco launcher is now 2.20.1.34 and you have your usual set of options. Nothing new, nothing has changed. You do have the double tap to lock screen gesture over here. Now, one thing that I will tell you over here is that I might be wrong here. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you've gotten this update, let me know because I have experienced that uh, the fingerprint scanner is behaving much better compared to the previous updates. It's, it's slightly faster, the in-display fingerprint scanner. And as I said, I might be wrong. I might be right. But the reason I hate Poco Launcher is because of this no animation whatsoever half you know half baked broken animations please fix this if you've given us android 10 gestures i really really appreciate i mean i don't appreciate that because it is that late but android 10 gestures are there and the animations are broken so not really helping there and this is a redmi device why why are still I just don't get it. Forget it. Anyways, we still have the Poco launcher. That is it. And if you're going to be on a lock bootloader, you can maybe change your launcher and stuff like that. So that is that. And uh, you don't have the new recents. Yeah, that's that's another bad thing. So no problem there. But if you actually want to change your wallpaper, one small good thing that you have over here is if you go to wallpapers and you go to super wallpapers, you now have a full list of all the wallpapers that are available. You have the snowy peaks, geometry, fire away rings, home and the red planet. And after updating or after installing this particular update, you will get an option to update or download them. So just go ahead and do that. You will of course need yeah, you will of course need an active internet connection for that. Now, the privacy section in this particular update is the same old global one. So you don't get a lot of exclusive MIUI 12.5 features, which the Chinese devices get, right? Now, if you go here, the new volume slider is there, right? If you select DND, you get this particular bar, which allows you to set a timer for DND, right? And at the same time, if you directly go to DND, you will get a beautiful toast notification here. So it's not that, that, you know, these guys cannot do it. They just have some policies where they want to treat Indian users like trash. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm saying this again, but it's very annoying because I flash this phone almost every day. And every other day when I flash Xiaomi or do you or Abix ROG ROM or any other ROM, which is based on MI 12.5 global or China, it's like, what the hell is going on? But anyways, I mean, it's, it's completely up to Xiaomi and we are living with it. So moving on, if you actually go to settings and if you actually go to apps, you have two new options over here, manage home screen shortcuts. So these are the apps for which if you don't want a shortcut on the home screen, you can disable them and they will be removed from your home screen. Uninstalled system apps. Well, you can see over here, they say that they have uninstalled it, but they are sort of grayed out. So. That is the way it works and you can go ahead and reinstall them sort of. So that works just fine. Now moving on, if you go to the gallery, you saw that stutter there, right? This is a clean flash to be honest. So if you go to gallery, you don't really have anything new. You do have the option wherein you can remove the geotag and all the other information before sharing the picture and you do have a new filter or a new editing options, some basic changes here and there. Now moving on, if you actually go to the camera application and if you go to more you do get the vlog mode but you don't get the clone mode and a few other options so all in all once again no changes in the camera section as well so this is definitely a 12.5 update for k20 pro it is huge for indian users because it comes with android 11 it is running absolutely fine for me i'm yet to test the battery backup and stuff which i'll maybe do once i'm back to mumbai my hometown that will happen on the 17th for now According to me, you should definitely update because it fixes your wide wine. You should definitely update because there are no major downgrades which will reduce your performance or give you any trouble of any sorts. 
let me know in the comment section what are the problems that you have experienced according to me this is a pretty decent update and until the next one this is Kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye